Good morning. I am Dr. Dinesh Singh. I am the Director in Radiation Oncology in Max Hospital, Vaishali. Today we are going to discuss about the cancer. The cancer is a group of about 100 diseases, different, different diseases. And it is basically the cells, they start developing, multiplying, and then they do not stop. First they grow locally and then they spread out to different parts of the body. And what are the different symptoms of the cancers? Well, it depends upon which part of the body the cancer is developing. Like we are discussing about the brain tumors that the patient might have uh, difficulty in vision. He may be having a headache. He may be having vomiting or he may be having fits. Then to further investigate, we need to do a contrast and a study of the MRI. Then we diagnosed and then we treat accordingly. For head and neck cancers, like there can be an ulcer or a sore which doesn't heal. There can be change in the voice, the person might have difficulty in swallowing or so these are the early symptoms of cancers originating into the head and neck area. Then we further investigate, we take a biopsy and then we diagnose these patients. For breast cancer, the earliest symptom is a painless lump. Usually in cancers in early stages pain is not there. So whenever there is a lump in the breast, it should be investigated to rule out cancer. More than 90% of lump in the breast are non-cancerous, but it should be evaluated and cured. When we come to the lung cancer, the commonest symptom is a mild cough. So any cough which is not getting cured for more than two weeks, it should be taken seriously. It can be tuberculosis, it can be cancerous. So it has to be evaluated, investigated. Talking about the uh, GI cancers or the intestinal uh, cancers, well, it presents like a uh, indigestion or the patient is not getting well, some might discomfort in the abdomen. So any problem persisting more than two weeks should be investigated by ultrasound, by endoscopy and then we do it. Carcinoma of the rectum or anal canal usually presents uh, with a bleeding associated with the stools or even without stools should not be confused with the piles because they have the same presentation. So any problem persisting more than two weeks is the thumb rule has to be investigated, diagnosed and we have to treat it. Once we uh, see that there is a problem, then what we do, we have to do investigations and the first investigation is a biopsy. Many times general people, they have this uh, a false notion that if a biopsy is done, the cancer will spread. Well, it is absolutely wrong. Biopsy is a must and it does not spread the cancer. Thank you.